You know, on this show, I like to treat you to things. Oh, absolutely. And today we're on the back of one of those tourist buses in the very heart of Brighton. I have to say, it's a good way, though, of seeing everything that you'd like to see. You know, the pavilion, the Theatre Royal, and, of course, all the things that you associate Regency Brighton with. But more importantly, <laughs> it's quite a lumpy road, as you can tell. Absolutely. And so the thing is, I think what we're going to do is wait until we find somewhere a little bit more secure while I tell you about the latest news regarding Prince Harry and exactly how, well, how can we put this nicely? You know that big announcement that he made literally in the midst of Catherine, the Princess of Wales video? Well, things are seriously not going to plan. They won't be going to plan for me if I don't get off this bus soon. I'll see you in a minute. So we're still on this wonderful city sightseeing bus and I've now come under cover of course to just let you know exactly what it's like to tour the wondrous delights of Brighton. I can't recommend this enough truly but what I can tell you is this that we have a breaking story that's going to really upset the birthday boy himself none other than the former royal known as Prince Harry the Duke of Sussex. See a couple of days ago we haven't had a wave have we? So we'll have a lovely wave. You all right? Thank you as ever for your company today. Blisteringly warm as you can imagine inside this bus here. We can't knock a glory Day. Can you see the palace pier behind me? Looks great, doesn't it? Now, let me tell you about this more serious story, in fact, because as you know, a couple of days ago, we were joyous at the return of Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her wonderful video, which explained exactly what she'd been going through on a personal level. Now, here's where it gets really interesting, because literally a few hours later, Netflix decided basically to release the brand new documentary, whatever you want to call it, of Prince Harry and his forthcoming polo in game show you know and this is sort of following on from the heart of Invictus and more importantly of course he's trying to make sure that he fulfills his contractual agreements we know that Megan's got a cooking show coming up also later in the year but here's where it gets really interesting talking to insiders at Netflix they're very very concerned with Prince Harry because the simple fact is that while they decided to launch this brand new promo trailer giving us an in inside elite look at the world of polo well the bottom line was it didn't crack any pops and by that they were expecting an absolute explosion lifted around the world people talking about it you know entertainment shows that sort of stuff it barely caused a ripple now as I told you it wasn't actually meant to come out until the middle of October but again here's where it gets really interesting they thought they could piggyback on the back of Catherine the Princess of Wales didn't work so moving forward now I've been told and I as ever we have to say allegedly that Prince Harry has been told by the bosses of Netflix to expect to do some work now remember he popped up on the Stephen Colbert show to promote his book they're looking for something of a similar level a big chat show appearance talking about what the show is about and more importantly why you and I should want to hook up stream it and of course pay for the privilege to boot. Apparently Harry's not too keen on this because he believes that the show should speak for itself and also they're pushing ahead with wanting to do digital interviews and big print interviews. This is the nasty media of course that Prince Harry has no time for. But as I've often said here on the show, the bigger problem now for Harry and Meghan is it's not about whether you want to do it, you're micro celebrities and if you want to get the next instalment out of Netflix to make sure that you get paid, you've got to do what these paymasters want you to do. And for Harry and Meghan now, and this will include her also, she will have to get out and sell the show. And for Prince Harry, this is uncharted waters, something he doesn't want to do, but soon or later, he'll have no choice or the deal's off. Sean, inside a city sightseeing bus, get your teeth in for that, in the very heart of Brighton.